What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with a brand new trailer and reveal for Season 14 of Destiny 2, which is indeed going to be known as Season of the Splicer. And so today we get the trailer for the new season, some pretty exciting stuff in there as always, we get details about new activities, the story, of course, some teasers for the Vault of Glass which is returning next season, then a bunch of gear and extra details about exotic armor weapons, season pass stuff, and everything else we need to know in this reveal for Season of the Splicer. So, as always guys, I hope you enjoy the video, but without further delay, let's get into it. And we should start out initially by running the trailer in full for any of you guys who haven't seen it just yet. I'll add a timestamp in the description box below for when we start breaking down the trailer and additional details, but otherwise, here it is. This morning, for the first time in humanity's long and storied history, the sun did not rise. It's a Vex simulation that has plunged the city into an endless night. Osiris and I could only think of one we might turn to. Mithrax, he claims to be among the last sacred splicers. Those with the power to commune with machines. Find him, Guardian, before the Vex do. Splice an entrance to the Vex network. I can guide you, but I cannot follow. Once inside, you must find your own way. It's a pretty cool trailer there, and initially we can see a bunch of very cool kind of Vex architecture and this new design language that Bungie are using for Season of the Splicer. We see the last city in this kind of endless night that they speak about at the start of the trailer. And a look right there at, presumably, Atheon from the Vault of Glass, although it could be another related Vex, but Atheon is indeed returning nonetheless. Although we don't know for sure if this is actually Vault of Glass or some of the other activity content. Of course they speak about Mithrax, and we see some Guardians on Europa. There will be some new quest content related to the season that takes place on Europa. And then the new seasonal activity, which is a six player match made activity called Override, where we'll be breaching the Vex network and we can see that it's going to take place in different areas, different world locations. And we've got that new kind of architecture and design language once again. And that's why I think we've got a different version of Atheon, or indeed a different enemy, that we can see in some of this footage because it is referring to that activity as far as we can tell. There's also a bit of a teaser for armor synthesis right there. And then, as always, the teaser for the raid, so Vault of Glass is returning on Venus. Some pretty cool shots of the outside space right there. I'm not even sure how you say the name of this exotic, Cryosthesia? Something like that, but... This is the new exotic sidearm, and it is actually a stasis weapon right there. We'll talk a little bit more about it in just a moment, but it looks very cool from the gameplay. And there's also going to be a weekly activity in the form of a weekly mission called Expunge. Obviously, it's going to be a pinnacle pursuit for the season and part of the ongoing story. And the main kind of story arc is one where we need to defeat the Vex to save the last city from this endless night. And so that's the bulk of the stuff that we see inside of the trailer, and no doubt there are plenty of teasers and things in there, and give us your thoughts about them down below. Here though, heading over to the season page for season 14, Bungie starts to give us a bunch of additional details. So it says an endless night, the Vex have plunged the last city into an endless night, 
threatening the safety once found beneath the watchful presence of the Traveller. It is here, bathed in perpetual moonlight, that Akora reveals the identity of an unlikely ally that may hold the keys to triumphing over this attack. Mithrax the Kel of the House of Light leads a small group of Elixni who wish to be close to the Traveller. As a sacred splicer, he possesses the knowledge needed to combat Vex technology that ensnares the last city. There is a bond of light shared here, will it be enough? And it does show an upgrade to the helm right here, so a new chamber overlooking the loading bay has been completed. It is here that the Vanguard will harness new splicer tech and plan their response to the Vex incursion. So the helm is going to be slightly upgraded with a servitor right there, which would be pretty cool. And Bungie actually break down those two activities. Of course, Override, which is a new six-player matchmade activity, as well as Expunge, which is going to be a weekly pinnacle mission. For the six-player matchmade activity Override, fire teams of six will use Splice Attack to hack the Vex network, uncover their secrets, steal their code, and use their power against them. And we've seen some footage of that inside of the trailer and stuff, but... Then there is Expunge, the weekly pinnacle mission, and each week Guardians will uncover new vulnerabilities within the Vex network and use splicer keys to infiltrate and collapse it from within. So it's pretty cool that we are going to have those kind of ritual activities, kind of like what we've seen with Presage. And then naturally, we have the return of the Vault of Glass. So stored away deep in the Vault of Glass on Venus is Atheon times Conflux. No one knows what this Vex is, and Guardians must access the Vault, navigate the fractures in space and time, and terminate Atheon before it can become an unstoppable threat. VRG is going to be very exciting stuff, and they do break down some of the Bungie rewards that we'll see for that. So tales of daring descent into the fabled vault seem a little grander when everyone's wearing matching rings, jackets, and sitting in front of the art that immortalizes your fire team's triumph. So we can see the new raid jacket right there, but also a vault of glass raid ring, and then finally a fate breaker seal, which appears to be the title for the reprised vault of glass raid right there. So that's definitely a cool one. Additionally, we have learned a little bit about armor synthesis, but Bungie say grow your collection among the stars and forge your luck in the last city. Every journey and every guardian is unique. Your armor should be too. So with the help of Ada 1, guardians will recover Braytech secrets from Europa that allow the building of a device known as the Loom. Once operational, Ada 1 will safeguard the loom within the tower, granting Guardians the ability to create Synthweave. And finally, Synthweave will unlock the power to turn almost any piece of armor into a universal ornament. So that's cool, and we have spoken about the kind of systems behind that previously. Here for rewards though, Bungie say, we've got over 30 new and reprised legendary weapons to crash the Vex network with. Find the perfect weapon, the perfect role, and bring an end to this endless night. And we get an up close screenshot of some of the new weapons right there. Presumably some of them will be in the season pass, but also across the activities for the season. Pretty cool aesthetic going on right there, and this should be separate to VOG weapons by the looks of it. We also get a look at some new exotic armor pieces, so the Star Eater Scales, and this allows hunters to feast upon orbs of power, charging their super more quickly and making it more potent. So that sounds pretty interesting, of course not the exact exotic description, but a rough idea of what they're going to do, and visually they're certainly pretty interesting. Titans get the Path of Burning Steps, and this Titan armor converts solar eliminations into increased weapon damage and makes them more difficult to lock down with stasis. So some pretty interesting interactions going on between pieces of gear right there. And finally for the Warlock, the Boots of the Assembler, condenses a Warlock's Rift healing or empowering energy into projectiles that seek out their allies to bless them with noble benefits. Be sure to give us any of your thoughts or speculation on these armor pieces down in the comment section below. As always though, there will be a new season pass and we get gear, XP and rewards, as well as instantly unlocking the new exotic stasis sidearm, as well as XP boosts that speed up seasonal ranks and reward track unlocks. And for the stasis sidearm right here, it says as a token of friendship, Mithrax bestows guardians with cryothysia? I believe that's how you say that. A stasis powered sidearm with liquid cooling tech. But also the Splicer Gauntlet, sacred splicer tech that can be charged with ether and used to hack the Vex network, access Conflux chests, and unlock splicer upgrades. And then as always, universal ornaments for the new armor pieces. Definitely some pretty cool pieces of gear that we can see right there. And they give us a few screenshots as well of items that we're actually going to see inside of that season pass. So overall guys, pretty exciting stuff, and once again, give us your thoughts down in the comment section below. But for this initial breakdown of what we're going to see next season, that pretty much sums up the video. So as always, give us your thoughts down in the comment section. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, a like rating down below definitely helps us out on the channel. But also, 
feel free to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted on the world of D2. But for now, I hope you have an awesome day.